So for this video, um, sorry, multimedia tutorial, we're going to be creating a new project in Photoshop. And this new document should come from our film and video tab and be 1080p and choose create. That's 1920 by 1080. These are the pixels involved. All right. And notice here off the bat, something new might be that we've got our timeline up and we're going to be creating a frame animation, but we're not going to do it through this button. We're going to do it right off the bat by going to file and import video frames to layers because the technique we're working on today is called rotoscoping, which is essentially tracing video frames um, as animation cells or animation frames. So um, to get the piece of video footage for today's demonstration, you're going to go to the student L drive, choose the Nicholas folder and the multimedia folder. And in there, there's a rotoscope folder, AQRS rotoscope and animation ps.mp4. When that opens up, you should see this import video to layers window. You don't want to just blow by and click OK. You have to limit every, let's go with three frames on this one, which is going to say every third frame, we're going to create a frame animation layer. OK? And there they are, my frames. And you can see here in my timeline window, which if you don't see timeline on yours, just go to window and timeline and check it. Um, but every frame also is associated with a layer. Notice my frame six is selected and I have a layer six. Frame three is selected. Layer three is now it's selected, but visible, right? So each frame has a layer associated with it. And that layer is the only layer that's visible when that frame is selected. So I can click one and it's one, yada, yada, et cetera. The next step we want to do is to select all of these layers and group them. The little bottom corner button here, the looks like a folder, puts them all into a group. The reason I'm doing that is I'm going to want to be able to turn on and off this group in a little bit. But before we get into that, really quickly, I want to create as many blank layers as I have frames because right now I have video frames and layers. I want blank animation layers so that I can use them instead of these video layers and I want to draw on those blank layers. So I have nine frames. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blank drawing layers. And I'm going to create my animation on these one at a time by going to my first frame and turning only on one or this first and I'll call it Roto one layer. So still in my group, I have layer one of the video on and I have Roto one visible in, in that layer. This is the layer that I will actually be using to draw with a much smaller brush. Here's my bracket to make it smaller. To draw around my person in my rotoscope animation. And that's basically what you're gonna do for each and every layer, which is to go to your next frame in the timeline, make sure that it has its own video layer turned on, frame two, video layer two within the group, and then make a layer called roto two. And that will be the layer on which I will draw or trace everything on that layer. And that's it for rotoscoping.